Today in this video, we're going to look at how good is Topaz Denoise AI, especially comparing with the traditional software. Now, this particular software is taken with Canon 70D, and I can clearly see in the exit file, it's in ISO 12800. This is ridiculous and almost close to impossible to use. I'm gonna show you by zooming in. Now, if we zoom in 100%, check out the noise. It's very, very crazy. Now, we're gonna go from the top to bottom just to take a quick look. So that's the eye. And if, I, if we're going down, like it's noise all over the place. Not only that, it's also very, very underexposed. Now, what I did, I already made some result. For example, the following photo, it's edited in the traditional Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro. Now, I'm gonna zoom in again for you so that we can see what is the outcome by traditional Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro so that you can compare with the other. Obviously, we're going to zoom in about 100%. Of course, the photo is not going to look very beautiful when you're looking at 100%, but at least you can see what happened. So you can clearly see it's not much of an improvement. It's still quite crazy amount of noise. Um, it doesn't look very beautiful whatsoever. Now, I mean, if you're looking at the internet, obviously it's gonna look really uh, beautiful, I guess. You might not notice the noise or any kind of artifacts, but if you're printing and for professional work, this is very unusable. Now, this photo, exactly same photo, but developed in Canon DPP, obviously, so that you can get an idea how much it is better comparing to software such as Topaz Denoise. So I'm going to zoom in again about 100% so they can see the improvement. So comparing with the Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro, this one not much better. It still have a quite aggressive amount of grain all over the place. I mean, I can see the details obviously in 100% zooming in. You don't see any kind of weirdness, but you definitely see a lot of grain, which is quite expected. Now moving on to the next photo. Now again, this one is corrected in affinity photo now the reason why i did it in affinity photo what if you don't have any kind of sophisticated software such as topaz denoise so would that be useful uh, clearly affinity photo did not do an extraordinary amount of job i mean you can definitely see the details but it is certainly not usable in a professional world in my opinion now here comes the fun part as you can clearly see, it's a huge change already without even zooming in 100%. Now, by the way, how I developed this particular photo. Now, this photo is being first developed in Silky Pix Developer Studio Pro. Then I disabled all the noise reduction and I developed the TIFF file in Topaz Denoise. Now, we're gonna zoom in about 100% so they can see the improvement. You can clearly see it looks almost like taken at ISO 100. Check this one out. So much detail, it's incredible. I'm very happy about it. Almost doesn't look like it's taken at ISO 12800 in Canon 70T. Mind you, this is a Canon 70D. It's not really a latest and the greatest of, the, of all. Today, the newest camera can take about uh, noise free images at 25,000 even, who knows. So considering that, this is a magnificent result. So this photo, again, it's done first part in Silky Beach Developer Studio Pro, and the second part, the noise reduction part, was done in Topaz Denoise, particularly in Denoise AI mode. Now, moving on to the next photo. Now this one again, slightly unexposed, having to the different software, but this one is developed in same as silky peaks and topaz this one is done in canon dpp the first part and the second part is done in topaz denoise in denoise ai mode now we're gonna zoom in about 100 percent you can clearly see that yes the color looks different because it's developed firstly in canon dpp but when it comes to noise and the sharpness you have all the details intact it's clean, it's sharp, it's contrasty, yet noise-free. Although I can clearly see that there's a little bit of difference between here. We're gonna go and explain what it is in the next photo. Now, this one, it's done all combination of Affinity Photo and Topaz Denoise. 
I'm going to make a video of each of them in future, how I work and used Silky Pigs with Denoise, Affinity Photo with Denoise and Canon DPP with Denoise. So stay tuned. Now we're going to zoom in this photo that is developed in Affinity Photo and Topaz Denoise. As you can clearly see, I think it's 70. You're going to zoom in a bit more, 100%. I'm not really satisfied with this one comparing with Canon DPP Denoise combo and Silky Peaks and Topaz Denoise combo. This one didn't do a very good job. Yes, the, to the details are there. Yes, um, doesn't have any noise as the original version. However, it could do better. I think if I spend a lot more time, I could make it better. But my, obje my objective here is to do noise reduction very quickly yet efficiently. So I'm not very satisfied. Now we're gonna see all of them at the same time in the next photo. Now here you can clearly see individually. This is the pineapple. Now the pineapple is this one. You can clearly see that one. And look at the details at 100% zoomed in. So from the top, individually done in silky peaks, followed by the Canon DPP, obviously as expected, not really the best in the world. Canon uh, Affinity Photo, yeah, I'm not really satisfied either. Then if you're moving to the Silky Peaks and Topaz combo with the Topaz Denoise AI mode, extremely beautiful result. Same goes with Canon DPP and Topaz Denoise AI combo. Again, I remind you, I'm going to make a video of each of them individually so that I can show you exactly how I did them. Now, again, Affinity Photo and Topaz Denoise combo I could do better. I believe this is not a very good result in my opinion. Now, again, now look at the blur area. So this is the original the, the developed in Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro, followed by the Canon DPP, followed by Affinity Photo, followed by Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro and Topaz Denoes AI, Canon DPP with Topaz Denoise AI and Affinity Photo with Topaz Denoise AI. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so they can see exactly the development. This is better, much better. You can clearly see that the silky peaks here and the Canon, those combo with the Topaz Denoise did a phenomenal job. Although I don't know what this thing is, it uh, could be an artifact, but overall, those are the cleanest of the bunch. Again, Affinity Photo, I'm a little disappointed. Could have done a better job, in my opinion. Maybe you can spend a lot more time tweaking here and there, but it's supposed to be easy and quick, considering that this is a very expensive piece of software. Now, here you go again. So this is the head, so traditional uh, Silky Pigs. You can see the name, Canon DPP, Affinity Photo, Silky Pigs, Topaz Genius Combo. Canon DPP, Topaz Denoise Combo, Affinity Photo, Topaz Denoise Combo. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so they can see exactly what is happening. So I'm going to go from top to bottom. So there you go. You can see again, quite ugly in my opinion, followed by Canon DPP, not surprised either. Affinity Photo, again, not really surprised there either. Then followed by the Silky Peaks and Topaz Denoise Combo. Wow, that's it. That's all I can say. It's just phenomenal. Canon DPP, in my opinion, did the similar job as Silky Peaks, although I could bump the exposure a little bit, about half a stop up to get the best exposure. When it comes to sharpness, I believe it did a very good job there. Again, Affinity Photo and Denoise Combo, maybe uh, there are a lot to do within there, but just to let you know, this one took me about Silky Peaks and Topaz, took me about five, seven minutes to do the whole process. Canon DPP and Denoise took about the similar time where Affinity Photo, this combo, took me about eight to nine minutes. So probably I need to spend a little bit more time to get the similar result as above. Now, here is the photo where the bottom of the GoPro, if you zoom in quite a bit, Let's start with the, not sharpness, but the detail and artifacts. 
So this is quite obvious. The Silky Peaks version, the Canon DPV version, and the Affinity version. Even the Canon DPV version, you have this little red dot. I think it's the noise. It's even after the noise reduction, which is weird. Now, although in the earlier photos, the Affinity photo, sorry, the Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro and Topaz did a very good job, but in the darkest of the darkest area here, the name GoPro, you can clearly see a lot of artifact, which is quite obvious given that Topaz can be very aggressive at certain time, where the Canon and Topaz combo did a very clean job, very least amount of the artifact and quite nice and clean there. I like it. To be honest with you, I'd rather have a clean photo and work on it later on when it comes to exposure and color than having all this artifact because in the final image, this might be a problem. Again, the combo of Affinity Photo and Topaz, maybe I had needed to spend a lot more time than I thought, but the original result to me is quite disappointing. Again, let me show you again. I still have the little red dot here from the top photo. Check this one out. So this is another one that uh, concerns me. Overall, from the safety side, I think the Silky Peaks and Topaz combo did a safer job. I think if I had to use this one, the Canon Topaz combo, I might have to work on this little particular issue there. Now moving on to the next photo. Now this is the Eiffel Tower, the, uh, the bottom of the pineapple. Remember this part? This is the original one. So here again, the Silky Peaks and Topaz combo did a phenomenal job, although, although, Here's the thing, interesting part, the Canon Topaz combo and Affinity Photo Topaz combo has better details and sharpness. I'm gonna zoom in quite a bit so that I can show you exactly what I mean. About 100% should be due. Now, we're gonna start from the top, just to remind you exactly the traditional software versus the specialized software. So, Silky Peaks, again, disappointing, but quite expected given it's 12,800 ISO, followed by the Canon, followed by Affinity Photo. Now this is Silky Peaks and Topaz Denoise combo, followed by Canon Topaz Denoise combo, followed by Affinity Photo Topaz Denoise combo. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so that I can put them all together, if I can, next to each other. Now here's the interesting part. Although Affinity Photo and Topaz didn't do a very clean job, but when it comes to detail, it's all there. Where I find the Silky Peaks version, it's a little bit too smooth to me. So I might have to tone down a little bit when it comes to noise reduction. Although here's another interesting part. Let me show you something. See that part here? This is quite disgusting in my opinion. I'm gonna zoom in extremely here where this is not really a lot of artifact in the deep dark shadow area same here as well where the canon version did a phenomenal and clean job now that is extremely important for future retouching even here yes it's not clean it's basically dirty but there are no artifacts and i can actually tweak the topaz denoise to do a better job in my opinion where silky fix version uh, left behind quite a bit of uh, artifact in my opinion so that's something to think about i'm going to go back to the last one so they can see exactly what i'm talking about so i'm going to play the photos as i'm talking in my final topic Overall, I think Silky Peaks and Topaz Denoise combo did a very good job followed by Canon Topaz, followed by Affinity Photo and Topaz. Now, uh, let me remind you, I'm going to make independent videos of each of the workflow that I do. The video for Silky Peaks Topaz combo, a video for Canon DPP and Topaz Denoise combo and a video for Affinity Photo and Topaz Denoise Combo. And of course, I'm going to do a better job in noise reduction next time because my earlier result was uh, disappointed, as you can clearly see. 
Now stay tuned in my channel and I'm going to come up with plenty of videos to show you exactly how to work with Topaz Denoise AI. And until then, I hope you have some answers. If you had some questions in your head, look after yourself and bye bye.